Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. Yes, this is a new intro. I am no longer showing my face as my intro. I wanted to show my face in my videos to make my videos more personable and for you guys to be comfortable and getting to know me. But I think we all know each other pretty well by now and hopefully you won't mind so much that I won't show my face. And if you miss seeing me, you can always go to my Instagram and TikTok where I periodically show my face. So without further ado, let's get started with a showcase. For my toy collection showcase, I will be showing a Rement set. Yes, we get another Rement set. I have been very obsessed with Rement lately. This is called Snoopy and Woodstock Little Lunchbox Museum. This is just your standard Rement packaging. This is a complete set. We have all the things here. Here's diner, Christmas, detective, street, theater, and drive. And right over here, it says that they are from 2018. I'm really excited for these because I love the Peanuts cartoons. When I was a kid, I actually wanted to be a cartoonist. And one of my biggest inspiration was Charles Schultz, the creator of the Peanuts cartoons. Snoopy, of course, is one of the most memorable and lovable characters because he's a cute little beagle and he just does his own thing. Let's go ahead and open it up. This is incredibly cute and it looks super vintage. It is from 2018, so it's not vintage, but this is the look that they were definitely going for. We can see some weathering on the graphic, the little white spots. The graphic is also very true to the Peanuts comics. It just has that warm, fuzzy, nostalgic feeling. This one says Snoopy Musical. The compact is a yellow lunchbox with a red handle. It looks like one of those very old 90s lunchboxes that we would take to school. I remember having a Hello Kitty one and it was awesome. These have a base so they can stand on their own and they just stand like this. Now let's take a look inside. It's definitely very minimal, but super cute. The Peanuts cartoons are simple. There's not even a whole lot of background imagery in the cartoons. Plus the quality is very, very good. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic and it reminds me of the BT21 toys. I don't think they're the same manufacturer, but the quality feels very similar. This is definitely more of a collector's item and a piece of art than a toy. Down here we have the stage. There's a platform here for our characters. And the platform looks like it spins, but it's actually static. And we have this crazy zigzag black and white pattern on the floor. And here we have a set of stairs. Up here is the backdrop. We have classic red curtains, a sign that says Snoopy Musical. And in the background, we have a film strip. It looks very similar to the Peanuts comics. We even have some onomatopoeias right there. Clomp boot. And here we can see Linus. At least I think that's Linus. Here is Snoopy. He looks so adorable. He has a top hat and a cane and he is dancing. Then we have little Woodstock who also has a top hat and he is also dancing. They're dancing together because it's a musical and the characters fit perfectly on these little pegs. And I'm just gonna put Woodstock here and I'm gonna put Snoopy here. They are so cute. These aren't as ornate and decorated as the BT21 toys, but I still really, really love them. There's still a lot of thought put into these compacts and they do feel very good quality, which is what I love about Remit. Now on to number two. This one is called Drive. We get a blue lunchbox this time and this is so gorgeous. I love the blue and yellow combination. It also looks like we're driving through the desert. We're on the historic Route 66. Here's Snoopy in his little red car and there's Woodstock right behind him. And it's the same weathered treatment that we get on this graphic. We can see the little white specks. I really love that design style actually. My style is more crisp, modern, cute. But whenever I see a style like this, I just love it because it really feels very nostalgic. Here is the long road that is Route 66. We see some beautiful vibrant grass over here, some rocks, 
right up here too. I really love the forced perspective here. It's giving me Wily e. Coyote vibes where it looks like there's some space, but he'll just run into a wall. Way in the background, we can see some clouds, trees, canyons. It's very, very pretty. Although I'm not sure which part of Route 66 this is because I don't travel. And I thought maybe they were going to continue this desert scenery on the inside. But if you guys are familiar with this location, let me know where they are. Here is Snoopy himself. He's in a sitting position with his arms reached out because he is driving. Here's Woodstock who is also in a sitting position. We get a road sign here that says Root Snoopy. It's just Snoopy's face. And here is Snoopy's red car. This is so cute. I love how this looks. The wheels don't actually spin and there's not really anything interactive here. The characters can just sit right in there, but it's really, really cute. It actually feels like it's 3D printed. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Either way, I love it. And here is number three. Here we have another beautiful blue one. This one is called Street. And here we have Snoopy playing the guitar. And it looks like Woodstock is singing. And we also see the rest of the Peanuts gang. Let me see if I can name them all. This one is Peppermint Patty, maybe. This one is Linus, no. I don't remember. Definitely Charlie Brown, Lucy, Linus. He has to be Linus, the blanket guy. Why don't I remember her name? Patty. Maybe she's Peppermint Patty. Um, she's Peppermint Patty? I gotta look this up. So this is Linus. This is Sally. This is Schroeder. How could I have forgotten? And this is Marcy. And yes, she is indeed Peppermint Patty. Apparently, I only know three characters. This looks really, really cool. It reminds me of Kerning City in Maple Story. Who remembers Maple Story? I actually played Maple Story 2 for a while, but it has unfortunately been discontinued, which makes me really sad because I really love that game. Down here we have a street. Here is the crosswalk. Here's the sidewalk. Here's an entrance to the sewers where Pennywise lives. We have a bricked wall over here. Here's some beautiful graffiti. It says Snoopy and Peanuts. We also see Snoopy's paw prints over here. And here is a brick building with windows. And here is a window to the sewer, maybe the basement. And here is a shop sign. It's very well made. It looks like each of these individual pieces were hand sculpted. I really love how this looks. Here we have Snoopy playing the guitar. And we have Woodstock who is just in a basic standing position. But I think he might be singing and we just can't see it because he doesn't have a mouth. And here we have a guitar case which is permanently open. You can't close it and that's just part of the design. This looks very real, even the inside. It looks like there's actual red velvet in there. And these are by far the smallest pieces I have ever had to hold in any of my compact sets. They are super tiny. Here's my pinky for comparison. Tiny. We have a chocolate chip cookie and a bone. We can assume that these are Snoopy and Woodstock snacks. They are so cute. I can't get over how tiny they are. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Number four, we are more than halfway there. And we are back to the yellow lunchbox. This one is called Detective. Here we see Snoopy and Woodstock in their detective outfits. He's even got a little pipe. How cute. And we get an actual comic strip with Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Silver Blaze by A. Conan Doyle. The curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. The dog did nothing in the nighttime. That was the curious incident, remarked Sherlock Holmes. My favorite part. He's giving me Garfield vibes. Just very lazy, not wanting to do anything. 
in very very small print right over here this comic strip is from 1994. we also see charles schultz signature over here and i love everything about this this is very very nostalgic if i didn't know any better and if these didn't have a date on them I wouldn't have guessed that they were from 2018. These could very well be from the 90s, maybe even 80s. Here we have another street. I'm guessing we're in London because Sherlock Holmes is English. This definitely feels like the London Compact from the BT21 sets. Pretty much the same concept. Here we have a brick road. There's a drain over here. This looks like a sidewalk. And up here we have a building. Beautiful double doors. I love how we can see the little knocking mechanism right there. And there's this beautiful iron fence. It is also up here. And we see a series of windows. Very, very beautiful. Lots of really nice architecture here. Very ornate patterns. I really love this. It truly looks like a work of art. Here is Snoopy in his detective outfit. He has a magnifying glass. When did magnifying glasses become a staple of detective work? And here is Woodstock. He's also wearing a detective outfit, but it looks like just a plain brown t-shirt. And we get a street light. And on to number five. This one is called Diner and it looks very simple. I love it and it's giving me 50s, 60s vibes. Here we see Snoopy enjoying a cup of coffee and a donut. And here is Woodstock with his little cup of coffee. And they're sitting on top of a sign that says Snoopy's Diner. This is probably my favorite so far. This has more detail than the other ones. Down here we have a typical diner setting. We have those classic red chairs. We have a brown rectangular table. And we have a black and white checkered floor. I feel like getting burgers and fries now. And a milkshake. Can't forget the milkshake. Then up here we get some decorations. Here is a lamp that hangs from the ceiling. We have some pull down blinds over here. We get this red and white roof. Here we have a California license plate that says Beagle. And here we have a picture frame of Snoopy on his signature red house. There he is, just chillin'. And here we have another framed picture of Snoopy and Woodstock dancing. There's that dance he always does in the cartoons. And we have a neon sign that says Open. Of course, this is called Snoopy's Diner, and here we see his beautiful retro logo. Here's Snoopy with his cup of coffee or tea or whatever he likes to drink. And here is Woodstock. He is in a sitting position and he looks very sleepy. I wish we had some food to go right on the table. Maybe some pancakes or a milkshake. But this is still a very cute scenery. Look at them. And now for our last one. This is called Christmas, and I know you're definitely hit with nostalgic feelings because every time Christmas rolls around, Charlie Brown plays on TV. It's that very classic Christmas song that I'm sure we're all singing in our heads right now. So here is the Peanuts gang gathered around Snoopy's house. They have a beautiful Christmas tree in the background. Everyone is singing and dancing and everyone's happy. What is Woodstock doing? Is he jumping off the house or on the house? Again, I love how classic this looks. I love the color palette, how it's more muted. They used a very light yellow. We can still see the specks of weathering all around here. I just love this so, so much. It's a winter wonderland. This snow looks so realistic. I have never seen snow look this realistic in any of my compacts. It almost looks a little unsettling. Maybe it's all the textures, all the holes. But once the characters are in here, it will look less weird. Up here though, we have a beautiful scenery. There's a house back there. It has a beautiful red roof. It kind of looks like the Blue's Clues house. And here on these branches, we have some decorations. Here's a Christmas wreath. We also have these dangly things. Are they ornaments? I've never seen this decoration before. And here we have some brown fences. 
and another tree in the background. And we can also see snow falling. Here is Snoopy. He's wearing a Santa hat. His arms are also reached out. I'm guessing he's holding the present that comes with this compact. And here is Woodstock who is also wearing a Santa hat. We get a present. It's in a yellow box with a light blue bow. And we have this beautiful Christmas tree. It just has a few decorations. These are actually flowers. They're not ornaments, I guess. And there's a star right on top. And that is Snoopy and Woodstock Little Lunchbox Museum. They look so cute displayed together and I mentioned time and time again in my showcases that I love toys with displayability. They have to look good inside and out. After all, collecting is a vanity thing, it's an aesthetic thing, it's a personal thing. It reflects on your style, your personality. And I just love these so much. I can't find any more like these, unfortunately. I don't think they did one with other characters or other franchises. I suggest you watch my BT21 showcase because they are very similar and it's good to just see what's out there in case you're interested in adding these to your collection. I really, really love the vintage look. You really can't tell that they're from 2018. And as usual, if you guys have any suggestions as to what else I should add to my collection, compact toys, dolls, Hello Kitty, Sailor Moon, especially Polly Pockets, let me know. I'm always open for suggestions and 90% of the time I will take your suggestion. As far as Remint goes, I'm always on the lookout for Remint compacts. So far, I think I have them all, but if I'm missing one, please let me know. And thank you for watching my toy collection showcase my very first one without my face in it, and I'll see you on the next one.